Hello guys, it's that time of the day again. Welcome to the Blunt Pundit where I speak my mind and you can say yours. It's Chelsea versus Arsenal today and I want you guys, Chelsea fans, Arsenal fans alike, if you follow me, I want you to give your comments below. I want you to tell me who do you think is going to win today's game. Let's get right into it. Sari versus Unai Emirates. Yes, I call him Unai Emirates because that's what I want to call him. So if you want to beef, that's your problem. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. But you know what, yeah? These two coaches, they've got similarities between them. They're new coaches that are trying to land the trade in Premier League, the hustle and bustle because they're not used to it. Um, they've got a very big job in their hands, you know, in terms of Chelsea and Arsenal. Two big projects and, you know, the demand on them is quite high. And the two teams are actually playing in Europa. So we've got a lot of similarities and, you know, if you think about it, that's the lower tier of Champions League. So as far as I'm concerned, they're not really expecting too much from us this season. But I think the, the expectation is for the two teams to actually get into the top four. Um, a bit of differences is one team actually won the first game, 3-0 against Huddersfield. And the other team in Arsenal lost 2-0 mm. to Man City. And it's not really about we losing, it's about the way we played. It's so obvious that, you know, Unai Emirates hasn't really gotten his tactics right yet. He hasn't really understood the players and that's understandable. Um, however, what I would like to see is a bit of grit from the players and that will go a long way in helping us to improve. And one very interesting news that came out from AFTV is um, that Unai Emery got his players to play behind closed doors against Crystal Palace. Do you know what I was thinking when that happened? Let me show you. I'm pretty sure Unai Emery was holding a whip to whip the behind of those players because of that performance. Is he crying to be as fan? So for us to have won 4 0 against Crystal Palace indoors, I'm pretty sure this was what he used to get those players to focus. Of course, he won Lacazette to start and Torreira as well. Because when those two players came in, you can see a bit of difference that they brought into the team against Man City. There was a bit of balance, there was a bit of um, desire. You don't mean it! And for me, I feel that if you have those two players, you can actually use a 4 3 3 formation. I know people are like, whoa. People are expecting, you know, 4 4 2. 4 4 2 is not the formation that is used these days because it doesn't really bring defensive balance. And when you're playing in the Premier League, Defense is very, very important and vital, and that's been one of the major Achilles of Arsenal for a very long time. We don't have that defensive stability. If you use a 4-4-2 formation, in as much as you have the attack, we're not going to have a very good defense. And this is the major problem. This is why many people don't like to use 4-4-2. I think the only team that's been successful with 4-4-2 is Leicester, and that's because Leicester added a bit of grit to their game. They added a bit of passion, desire. They had this, I want to win attitude. They want to die. For the club. No many clubs are gonna do that, especially Arsenal. I'm sorry and I apologize for that's the truth. Okay, so we need to be realistic. But then again, that doesn't mean that Lacazette cannot still play in a 4-3-3 formation. What then happens is it's either him or, or Obama one of them has to switch to the wing and one of them has to stay as a center forward. But when they're going forward, one of them can actually drop in with the other one in the 18-yard box. So for me, I think starting Lacazette Torreira is really gonna make a difference. Granite who? It's been a Guys, stop asking me stupid questions, man. Huh. My only concern is Hazard. Well, he didn't play against Huddersfield. I'm hoping that he doesn't play against us. Because he's going to be playing on the wing where Bellerin is. And <laughs> what Mendy and Sterling do to Bellerin in a Man City game. Oh my goodness. They were showing him his shirt, turning him inside out. Jay! 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 I don't want that to repeat itself. So Unai Emirates, if you know what's good, you need to instruct Torreira or Gwendozi or whoever is going to be the defensive midfield to support him. Because I, um, I remember very well, Bellerin was isolated in that position in Man City and they were really using him like a rag. That's an infringement! So please make sure you do something about that. That's just my only concern. Hazard. If he doesn't play, good and fine. For me, nothing less than a draw. It's just that simple. Because we're going to Stamford Bridge and we, we all know that we don't have a very good record there. You know, Chelsea has been the bane of Arsenal's existence for a long time. Well, good, but this is for them. All over again. He said they're Atlantic. Whether you like it or not, it's the truth. And I know some Chelsea fans are laughing at me right now. I have some Chelsea friends. So yeah, you can drop the comments and laugh at me if you like. That's your problem. But the point is, nothing less than a draw for me is good. Thanks a lot for watching the Blunt Pandit. 
don't forget to like share and subscribe please the subscribe button is right below this video make sure you subscribe and spread the word and i also want to hear from you guys who you think is going to win today's game chelsea versus arsenal like i always say lovers will be lovers haters will be haters if you love me i love the idea if you hate me well life is too short for hatred take care guys stay safe